Parents, listen up. A virus that could lead to a rare but serious polio-like complication is on the rise across the nation, and children are more likely to get infected and develop symptoms. That's according to the nonprofit network Wastewater Scan. The National News Desk, Jeff Harris, joins us. And Jeff, you spoke with some experts earlier. What is this virus, first of all, and how does it spread? The virus is called Enterovirus D68, DD. It's a respiratory virus that spreads when someone infected coughs or sneezes. Now, most people only develop cold-like symptoms, but in some rare cases, the virus can lead to a polio-like condition called AFM. Megan Kohler Freeman isn't just an infectious disease physician. She's also a mom to two young children, an age group more prone to catching enterovirus D68, which is similar to a cold. They're pretty constantly covered in snot and don't have the best skills when it comes to hand washing. Freeman says we last saw this virus circulate in a big way in the fall of 2022. And starting around late July of this summer, a rising number of detections were found in nose swabs and wastewater. We've seen a steady increase in the amount of this virus circulating in the country. Freeman tells us most people infected with enterovirus D68 either have those cold-like symptoms or no symptoms at all. But the virus has been linked to another condition called acute flaccid myelitis. This is a very alarming condition because it can um, cause previously healthy children to have some paralysis. While concerning, Buddy Creech, director of the Vaccine Research Program at Vanderbilt University, says AFM cases are extremely rare. Given the vast number of enterovirus infections that we see, this really is the tip of that iceberg. So while parents don't need to be overly worried, he says if you start to notice your child develop any arm or leg weakness, you should reach out for help. Or maybe a limp in the context of a cold, that's a reason to follow up with a child's pediatrician or other family provider. Now, according to the CDC, as of September 3rd, there have been 13 confirmed cases of AFM in 10 states. Reporting for the National News Desk, I'm Jeff Harris.